One really powerful tool that Qualaroo allows for is the ability to target and identify website visitors who are logged into your website. This can be done with the use of our API. The content we'll cover in this video does get pretty technical. If you're comfortable working with JavaScript and APIs, then this video is for you. Let's get started, shall we? If you have a login component to your website, we recommend using our API to push that information into Qualaroo. Once you have the API call set to push that information over to us, you can then use a variety of targeting options within our interface, such as targeting visitors who are logged in. To get started, you'll need two pieces of JavaScript from your Qualaroo account. These snippets can be accessed by clicking on the Install Code button to the right of your domain name. From this page, you'll want to grab the main Qualaroo JavaScript. Under the main code, you'll see an option that says, does your website have registered users with a link next to it? Click on that link to expose the Identity API call template. Before you add the JavaScript to your website, you first need to replace the Your Identifier Here placeholder with the snippet of code your site uses to recognize when a visitor is logged in. For example, if your site uses PHP, you might use code that looks something like this. You don't want to just copy and paste the Identity API call from the install code page. You also don't want to replace the identifier placeholder with just a plain text email. If you do this, the identity option on the targeting page will not work. Once you have the correct identifier code for your site, you're ready to install the JavaScript. We highly recommend adding the JavaScript below the body tag on every page of your website. Now that the JavaScript has been added, let's take advantage of this new targeting option. Navigate to the targeting section for your survey and under who should be prompted to take this survey, click on target advanced. This targeting option works in conjunction with the identity API call. You can target those who are logged in or known, those who are not logged in, unknown, or both. You can also use the whitelist blacklist option under the advanced targeting settings. If you have the email address or addresses of people you'd like to whitelist or blacklist, you can place them in this section separated by a comma. Finally, in using the API to push the identity of our survey takers into our system, we then tie that information to the individual responses. Here we can see the email address of a particular survey taker. We see this information because they were logged into the website when they submitted their response. There are a wealth of use cases where having the ability to target logged in visitors to your website is beneficial. Additionally, having that person's email address tied to the individual response opens so many doors that can allow you to learn more about that particular person's experience. We hope that this tutorial has helped you gain an understanding of how to set up the identity API call and targeting options correctly. But if you get stuck at any point or are having trouble getting it to work, please let us know. Our customer success team is here to help. We can be reached via email at support at qualaroo.com. Or if you would prefer to talk to us, then give us a call. Our phone number is 1-650-450-4938. Thanks for watching and happy surveying.